Hey everyone, I'm Zara Connolly and we're here at the Home Cinema in Manchester. We are celebrating former Manchester United captain Brian Robson for the launch of his brand new film, The Brian Robson Story Robbo. You know, it's been sort of like a great 18 months putting it all together. Um, I think the production company and the director have done great, great um, putting it all together. Um, and I'm pleased now though that it's sort of there to be able to watch it. Um, you know, and the cast has been fantastic. Uh, you know, people like Class of 92, Sir Alex, you know, see and Botham, Sue Johnson, all these people um, who've given up the time to contribute into the film. Um, yeah, you know, I'm really looking forward to this evening. So, Jim, we're here at the Robbo premiere. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Very much, very much. Um, I think uh, his career sort of went alongside mine. I think I can remember him uh, when I was working on local radio in Birmingham, playing for, for the Baggies, or West Bromwich Albion. I remember him coming out here as Britain's most expensive player. Worked with him on England duty for ITV as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, he was a, he's a great guy. He deserves this. You know, he's a leader for England, leader for his club. A leader everywhere. People looked up to me, you know, and I can't, I'm not surprised the amount of people there is to be yeah, for him, you know. He deserves it more than anything. I love him to bits, mate. So, you know, they would have cried at the premiere. <laughs> but, uh, I'm very excited about seeing the, seeing the, uh, the actual film that's, uh, that's been talked about for so long in and amongst his friends. Like, I mean, we know he's, it's been worked at for a long, long time. I know most of the people who've done it from behind the scenes as well, so. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to the premiere tonight and um, and celebrating with him after. You know, I, I think it's been sort of a long journey. You know, people talk about the 40 years I've been at uh, since I signed for Man United. You know, but from when I left uh, Chesley Street up in the northeast when I was 15, you know, it's been a long journey for me with my football career. Uh, you know, it's been really enjoyable. And it was great looking back at all the memories, the, the great times that I've had. Uh, along the way, uh, you know, and still having them in the ambassador role at Man United. I think in many ways, when, when you're a top class player, you know you are inside, and supporters know you are, but, but it's keeping that sort of happiness between the supporters and his teammates that, you know, he is the best and he is the best captain. And, and like you say, a little bit humble, he would be the one that would go. You're getting the wrong side of him. He would be the one that would go and fight your corner. You know, if the manager had a discrepancy or something about bonuses or something, Bram would be in there fighting for the players. And, you know, so he had a bit of everything about him. And I was a kid um, coming through the ranks. And I could easily go to Bram and say, What do you think? Shall I go and ask the boss for a pay rise? You know, and things like that. And, you know, he was brilliant. He, was brilliant. he, had, he had the whole package. It's, if, to, if you could model yourself on Brian, then you're fine. You will have a great career in football. Whether you'll quite, quite reach the heights Brian reached will be another matter. But if you if you look at his qualities, he has uh, uh, he has every quality that was needed and proved that he had every quality that we needed to be England captain and be the leader at Manchester United for many many years. I mean, uh, trust me, he he remains one of the great footballers of any year, and if anyone deserves it, it may be about him. It's him. And uh, I'm sure his character will shine through. Uh, but he's quite an unlikely film star, really. I'm quite looking forward to seeing because he's not one that relishes the bright lights. He's not one that chases the cameras and the microphones. So I'm really looking forward to seeing his inner character coming out. I think they broke the mould and they made him. So, uh, you know, he's not, he's not just a great footballer, he's a great guy, you know what I mean? And shows a lot of humility as well for the position he's held um, and what he achieved in football. Uh, you know, I was from a council estate, uh, not that I needed anything because mum and dad were hard workers and always provided for me, brothers and sister. Um, you, you know, so really it's just if you've got a dream, uh, you know, work hard at it, uh, but never think that you can't achieve something and I think that's the main message with the film. Thanks very much.